This is a perfect example of the, of the of the trick that Thad Jones gave us, which is trumpets high, close voicing. This is more of a close voicing on the trombones. A lot of times Thad Jones would spread them more, but um, alto sax doubling the lead, and then the saxes are in a nice spread, uh, doubling this note which would be the uh, third of the chord. But in here, these notes are covered by uh, just the saxes. No one's doubling these notes. This is a very sort of dissonant chord. And you can't play it on a keyboard. I'm doing something I don't normally do, which is I've got the bass trombone and the berry doubling the bass. Uh, That to be bop bop. I wanted that to really speak, especially live. I think it sounds really good. I wouldn't normally do that, but this would be the trombones. Trumpets. That sounds great, but you need something in there. The saxes are playing. And the secret that uh, Ray Wright told us was that. As long as the saxes sound good unto themselves, it's going to work with the brass. That's a very solid voicing. I mean, it's very dissonant, but it's all, it's it's not it's not this. And there's a lot of difference between you know a lot of writers aren't really cognizant of the difference between the, the 13th chord, which is more of a tonic sound, and then putting alterations in there. If you, as soon as you put the sharp, if you make the sharp, sharp five instead of a 13, it's more of a, a dissonant moving sound. This is more of a stationary sound, more of a swinging sound. This is more of a moving sound. So you, I wanted to make this chord have a lot of dissonance, but also sound like a G13 and not a G altered, okay? Because this, this is the root. So even though this is dissonant, these, these notes are dissonant altered notes. It still sounds like a tonic. <laughs> 